from one of the loudest venues in the National Football League. You get a look there at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. And today we start the new season with an AFC West division battle right out of the gate as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. On the return is Cooper from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy this caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Test two plays in. This is third and two. Now Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now he can exhale. The season is officially underway. Plenty of work done during the offseason, camp, and the preseason that led to that first throw of the year. First down, Mahomes. Well, that one caught by Rice. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target. For Taking it right down Broadway. And all the way in for Kansas City touchdown. A great effort there. 49 yards. And the Chiefs are on the board here first in the season opener. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Here's the Chiefs' kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have... and run there good for 16 and a first one down only about 500 more to go this season he would certainly welcome most of his passes this year going as well as that now that the first one is over time to settle into a groove and begin the long journey towards week 18 and hopefully the playoffs now a first carry for the former Tar Heel Javante Williams now inside the 25 Javante Williams and he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Javante Williams, 60 yards. And the Broncos strike quickly here to tie up the ball game. Extra point attempt to come here. 
It's up and good, so they go the conservative route instead, and it gets them a 7-6 lead here in the opening quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return is Cooper from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I should like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have that bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Here's a second and five. Mahomes now to throw. Complete. And this is going to be another first down as they make the tackle at the Broncos' 41-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Here's Pacheco once again. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Attack, attack. Attack. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Right, now a second and ten. Right, right. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And room there to work it inside the 25. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On third down, it's Pacheco. That's a strong run. Season and runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. After one, a one point game, seven to six. Second quarter for Merrillhead, it's the Chiefs in possession. 
as they go to work on a first and goal. Second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Pacheco will take this one in. It's a Chiefs touchdown. Well, we've been the real close on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Wolf on now for the extra point. And he puts this one through as the lead moves to 13-7. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. And he's going to have a Broncos first down as he gets this up past the 30. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. It's Williams. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Back to throw now on first down. Now he will find Davis. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 48-yard line, here's second and two. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 95 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They'll look to throw now on first down. And it's caught. It's Marvin Mims. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. 
And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Down inside the 10. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the 7-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll look to throw. Screen play set up for Williams. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Second and goal from the one. On play action, they'll throw. Touchdown! One-yard touchdown reception. And the Broncos are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return is Cooper from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Yellow. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive to last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Here's Mahomes to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Attack, attack. Attack. Mahomes now on first down. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now, here's Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Nicole Hardman. 
as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes it can prove risky there at worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky, because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before the intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pay the lead. could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing your coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. All his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Protected by Deion Jones, the linebacker. Just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. It says so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Here we go on second and 12. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, he's had the interception woes in this one, Charles. At that time, a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield, even though the ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders, and they advance it downfield. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Here we go, check. Check Off 
off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Point after, right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he returns this to the 22. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Davis. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. He'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll take the block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball, and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer. He just dropped the pass. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw here. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. So opening drive interception to begin the second half. And just think about the time he's been in the with what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Again, it's Pacheco. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 
And he will have a Chiefs first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. A run by Pacheco on second down. About three yards there to the 27. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. From the left hash, this from 39. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. Well, at least it wasn't a turnover like the last drive. You'd think they'd make an adjustment and be ready to make up for that turnover. Instead, just another big play for the defense on that snap. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. That is caught, and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league... A loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. There we go. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. There they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, 
and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though. No surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. They'll look to throw again. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. They'll look to throw on third and goal. This is caught. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin fourth quarter. You're going. A yeah, field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on for a down. Well, there's two sides to this call. I mean, on one side, five interceptions down thrown for him. That's top. And man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it. I think about it awfully hard, but also... You might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player. You have to know the situation. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Second down and eight. Here's Pacheco headed right. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Third down and six. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one goes sailing out of bounds. Where did it cross? Well, they're going to say on this side of midfield. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try to throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. 
On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. Trent McDuffie with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division king here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent it gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you're fourth in the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sides. Mom just executed better and earned the win. Trippin' this is easy, easy Got them excited to meet me, meet me I got diamonds, you got CZs, CZs Wake up, get to it, and repeat, repeat